Hello there. I just felt a great disturbance in the force as if millions of voices cried out in terror and said, welcome to this week's Ian's VR Corner. I fear something terrible is about to happen. Greetings all, I'm Ian Higton and you join me here floating above the planet Yavin as I'm about to try out Project Stardust. Now this is a fan-made Star Wars game. It's created by a guy called Dylan Stout and it was made at the University of Utah in a bit too work out some stuff to do with VR motion sickness and it's basically a recreation of the 1983 coin-up arcade game of Star Wars. Now this version is made specifically for the Oculus Rift, I'm playing it on the Rift S and there's a variety of settings in here that you can change for sensitivity but there's not anything like click turn or anything like this. This is a full-on cockpit simulator, a little bit like the Star Wars Rogue One mission that you might have played in Star Wars Battlefront way back when. Way to go! As far as I can tell, there's not been as much budget behind this one, though, but it does look like quite a faithful recreation of the events of the movie and the coin-op. So let's jump straight in with the tutorial and go for an attack on the Death Star. Ooh, lovely gloves. All right, so here I am inside my very own X-Wing. It doesn't look as detailed as the cockpit in the Rogue One X-Wing mission, uh, but it's still pretty cool. I can see R2 back there. I've got a DVD drive and a laser dick drive. Uh, laser dick? Oh my God. A laser disc drive back there. Um, I love this little monitor where I can see R2. And um, I think the game wants me to fly around a bit. So we're using the left thumbstick here if your pitch, yaw, or roll to your. And then this is my roll. Well Try That's my pitch and your. OK, cool. That works. And then grip to accelerate, I think it was. Here we go. Nice. So graphically, it looks pretty good for a fan-made game. There is um, a lot of detail here. The skybox and the stars are really impressive. The asteroids. A nicely lit boosters. Okay, here we go. I'm boosting now. So not making me feel sick at all. Um, I'm used to flying in cockpits in VR though. It definitely feels different to the cockpit, the X-Wing cockpit in the Rogue One VR mission. Slightly different scale. This feels a bit smaller and a bit shorter and you can't see the nose as much. Oh look, that's cool. You can see all my uh, X-Wing and Y-Wing pals behind me. There's the Death Star in front. All wings report in. Red 6 standing by. 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 Like as far as in tech position. Oh, I love the way they've got the um, the actual audio from the movies. That really. Whoa. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, this is sweet. This does feel very much like being in the movie. Okay, Tie Fight is coming in. Doesn't seem to be any way to target them or lock on. And ow, I've already taken a hit. And actually shooting them. Maybe a little bit tricky just due to the fact that half of my view is taken up by the um, the bottom of the cockpit. Okay, I got him though. Ha ha! Let's boost. Let's try and boost and pull some ama uh, amazing evasive maneuvers. Woo! Okay, there we go. Flying straight at the Death Star and some TIE Fighters. Oh, we missed him. Oh my god. There are a lot of them. Right, I need to turn more tightly I think here we go yeah definitely oh I did hit one it's very hard to tell if you have hit them once they get obscured by the nose cone 70% shields that's not good oh I've, I've put my my wings back in for speed come on can I bring them back out again there we go I need my X foils in attack position please oh my god there's too many of them I need to be more wedge and less porkins at the moment. I can hold it. Pull up! No, I'm all right. 
How are you doing back there, R2? Oh, God, he's not doing good. <laughs> the, definitely the use of the audio from the films adds authenticity to it. Um, the fact that I'm getting so insanely walloped isn't, though. Yeah, so targeting is a little bit tricky. I'd love there to be some extra lock-ons, maybe, um, and the ability to fire photon torpedoes would be sweet. I wonder if the fact that the half your vision being obscured by the cockpit is to do with reducing motion sickness. Got ya! The lighting's really nice, and the textures are actually um, pretty good. Oh god, 30% uh, shields, this is not good. Ooh, we're starting our attack run. Okay, this is good. Copy gold leader moving into position. Or not. Uh, oh, oh, okay, ooh. All right, we are on the surface of the Death Star. I guess we've got to take down some turrets. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to fly upwards, and then I'm going to roll right round. This is cool. It does feel very much like being in the movies. Why haven't, why hasn't EA bloody done a full Star Wars VR game? Oh my God! R2, I don't like it when he sounds like he's in pain. I'm trying to sightsee here. Take that turret. Enemy fighters now as well, is it? My scope's negative. I don't see anything. My scope's negative. Whoa. Oh god, I'm getting absolutely battered. Let's turbo out of here. Let's do some low flying across the Death Star and have a look out the window. That's cool. That's far! Oops. Well, that never happened in the Star Wars. This is it. This is it. I'm going to cut across the axes and try and draw their fire. Do it. Oh man, John Williams' score is so cool. I'm just taking it a little bit more slowly now. And it seems to be working better for me. Oh, I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of drifting. X-Wing drift. I taught Poe Dameron his moves. Ah, this is amazing. This is so cool. I feel like if it didn't have the movie soundtrack on it. it might not feel as epic I see them. but uh yeah this has given me all kinds of um nostalgic tingles great shot kit there was one in a million there we go yeah it's very cool looking out over the death star as you fly on that's one of the best things about vr i always say is the ability to just be able to look around and what's happening oh no please don't crash uh, look around and about you and behind you. And how you doing there, R2? He looks good. He looks good. Eat Bantha Doo Doo! Turret! Or is it Bantha Poo Doo? One of them. Wee! Suck a fat one! Uh, whoa! Okay, bit faster. Bit faster. Yeah! Oh! Well, R2. More enemy fighters coming my way, huh? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh god, they're they're absolutely caning me. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, I no, I've lost all my targets. Yo bugger. I mean this is the this is the dream here. This is what we wanted back in the days of the original trilogy. Things like this. We had to make do with the coin op that was black screen and green lines. But now I'm actually in the cockpit of an X Wing fighting over the top of the Death Star. It's quite intense. Oh, that's nice. Good shot. Okay. Big handbrake turn there. Oh, I'm shooting at debris. Got ya. Listen, you. Oof! 
to go for another turret. Their defences have got to be softened up enough now. I copy, gold leader. It came from behind. It came from behind. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Ooh. All right. So the uh, the game is controlling it now. Down we go into the trenches. That's my buddies. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay. So this is there's a lot less control now. And in fact, how the uh, hmm. controls wise in the uh, trenches really uh, really limits your controls a bit. I presume just because it's such a tight corridor to fight down and stuff, it just feels a bit floaty and weird. Okay, get under here. Ooh. Oh my word! It's a good job I took out insurance on my X-wing. Why is it going backwards? <laughs> I don't remember this happening in the Star Wars. <laughs> what? Oh, I think that was a. I think that was a bug. I don't. I think. I think Darth Vader might have force pulled me backwards. No. Come on. Why? Why are you going backwards again? There, forwards. Yeah. No. If. Oh God. Don't die! Gold leader! What's happening? <laughs> Come on! Forwards! Forwards! Oh, fuck. Oh, it's going backwards so fast. What is... Oh, wait, was it... Oh, my God. Was that the problem? I think I just wasn't... It's was because I wasn't pressing the speed button? Oh, fuck. I got so worried about hitting the sides, I started forgetting to hold the grips on my controller. And uh, instead of becoming stationary, the ship started moving backwards. I, th I think I've solved the problem. I think the problem was my idiocy. Disable targeting computer. Oh, the targeting computer has been disabled. We are locked in. Okay, this is it. Oh, you bastard! I find Let go. Damn it! Okay, boost forwards. Okay, my Y Wing buddy is around still. Oh, fuck, here comes Darth Vader. Uh, can I see Darth Vader behind me on the screen? Oh, yep, yeah, he's shooting at me. Okay, I'm also in range. Okay, I'm switching to my... No, I'm turning my targeting computer off. See you later, targeting computer. That's cool, the way that comes out. Okay, I need to... S I'm slowing down again a bit. Okay, I'm using the force. I'm just... I'm letting... I'm not letting go. I'm holding on to the brake. Okay, I'm just shooting. I don't know if there's a separate button for my photon torpedoes. Is that the exhaust port? Almost there. Almost there. Oh fuck, it's so busy! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, it's too much. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't have the force. Oh fuck. I'm dead! Stay on target. Stay on target. There's so much shit. Where's the fucking source port? Don't die. Oh god! Everyone's dying. The beeps are getting closer. There's Han. Thanks, Han. You're the man, Han. Yes, let's give it a good old blow. Fire the fuck! Did I do it? There it is. It's still, it's still breathing. Boof! Yeah! Great shot, kid. That was one in a million.
Whew. Holy shit. That was... Because <laughs> of the amount of times I died doing that, that was generally nerve-wracking. Um, wow. Okay. That's a pretty cool fan recreation of uh, the Battle of Yavin. I, um, I found the very last bit in the trenches a little bit too hard due to control complications and my idiocy. But uh, I made it in the end, and uh, yeah, I've got some adrenaline running through me. That was really exciting, especially with the audio from the... Oh, shut up! Oh, fuck! What's going on? That was really cool, though. Um, I, I very much enjoyed that. This is a free download for the Rift S, so um, I'll stick a link to it in the video description below. Get downloading it quickly, because as soon as dickheads like me start drawing attention to it, Disney are bound to try and slap some kind of cease and desist on it. So, uh, yeah, get it while it's hot, because this is an amazing piece of work. Well done to Dylan Stout and everyone else at Utah University who made this happen. It's uh, it's cracking. It has it really does feel like you're in a Star Wars. It's not as polished as the Rogue um, One VR missions, but that's to be expected considering this was not done on a mega million dollar budget. Uh, but yeah, I really I, I really enjoy that. Fair play, Dylan Stout and everyone else who made it. And also big thanks to Dougie the Reverse Pro Gamer, one of our moderators here on Eurogamer, who brought this to my attention thank you so much everybody for watching this episode of ian's vr corner if you did enjoy it do give it a like and subscribe for more vr videos every sunday right here on eurogamer right i'm gonna go back in now and practice my trench run because god damn it i need to get good at that goodbye ah